Packs of 2018 here at the MSI booth. We're going to showcase a wide, a wide range of laptops and components. Let's go have a look at what MSI has got to offer at Packs 2018. So we're here with the MSI Trident X, an absolutely beast of a machine. It's only a 10 litre capacity, but it's housing an i7 9700K with a MSI Z370 motherboard. Now this is where it's going to get everyone. It's got an MSI, GT, uh, MSI RTX 2080 Ti dual fan. It's got a full-size desktop GPU in here. It has um, obviously SODIMS, it's got UDIMS, DDR4, 32 gigs and two 16 gig um, sticks. Also two terabyte hard drive and a 512 M.2. This machine is so small, but it's, off, but it's carrying so much power. Hopefully this machine has actually got what it's worth We'll hopefully we can get one into the studio and have to do a proper review on it. But looking at it so far, the amount of power that's in this desktop compared to what's out here as well, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal what MSI have done. So we have MSI's latest monitor. Now it is focused on eSports. It is called, I'm getting some details here. So it's called the Oculus NXG251. It's a 25 inch monitor, TN panel. Now what's good about this, it's a 240 hertz panel, but what comes here is a 0.5 milliseconds response time. Now it is, um, as far as we can see, it is G-Sync as well. I have spoken to MSI about this. There is only three in Australia, and I'm looking at getting one for the studio for a further review on it. But looking at it so far, it looks absolutely fantastic, just from, it's mainly made for eSports and FPS gaming as well for your home. So we have another monitor from, from MSI, it's called the Optics MAG271 CQR. So just going through the quick specs on this monitor, it's got a curved gaming display of 1800R, it's got the mystic lighting, QHG high resolution, 144Hz um, refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, it's got a gaming on-screen display app as well, also has true colours of DCI-P3 90% and it's got sRGB as well, it is AMD FreeSync, anti-flicker and less blue light, frameless design and a 178 wide view angle. So we're here at the MSI booth here at PAX 2018 and we're here with the notebook section at the moment and we have the in front of us the GF63, so quick spec down on the GF63, running Windows 10 Home, 8th Gen i7, NVIDIA G, uh, GDX 1050 Ti 4 gig. it's got a 15.6 Full HD 920 by 1080 IPS screen, thin bezels, this, this model currently what gets the 1 terabyte with the 1 terabyte hard drive with the 260 SSD and 16 gig of RAM. It has a gaming keyboard, all new, all new Dragon exclusive design game mode, obviously for, for MSI, and it has dynamic 3 sound technology, delivering 360 immersed audio experience, and has productivity of seven hours plus. That is an absolutely fantastic keyboard to get seven hours. Seven hours, I'm pretty sure it will full, be in full battery mode to get at seven hours, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Hopefully get one in the studio. Next one, now this is my absolute favorite. I've been waiting for this for so long. It is the GS65 Thin, Stealth Thin. Now, the absolutely thinnest of this keyboard is, look at that. For a keyboard to carry this much power, 
It's absolutely fantastic. It, is, it has got Windows 10, 8th Gen i7, 8750, housed with the HM370 motherboard. It has got a GTX 1070 with 8 gig of DDR5, 15 to 15.6 full HD screen. Now this has a 144 hertz screen, but it does carry with seven milliseconds um, display here as well, response time. It comes with a 512 gig SSD with 16 gig of RAM. It has the, apparently the world's first 144 hertz thin bezel gaming laptop screen. As you can see, it very thin bezels. It's exclusive, um, it has an ultra 17.9 millimeters and only weighs 1.8 kilograms. Now moving along, we have the GV62. This is carrying an 8th gen core i5 8300H. It has a GTX 1060 6GB DDR5 and also 15.6 1920x1080 monitor screen on here. It has a nine, one terabyte hard drive with 128 gig SSD, eight gig of RAM, it has exclusive cooler booster for cooling technology and GPU, CPU full drive performance. Now, this is the GT75 Titan. I've actually owned one of these laptops and this particular spec, they are big, they are decimal replacements, so it's not one of those laptops you want to be carrying around with you. It is Windows 10, has an 8th Gen i9 8950HK CPU in it, NVIDIA GDX 1080 8GB DDR, uh, DDR5X. It's a 17.3 inch, full HD, 1920, 120Hz screen. This one's carrying a one terabyte drive with 512 gig and 32 gig of RAM. It has an exclusive cooler booster Titan cooling technology. The fans on these, I've had one in the past, as you go back to the review on this, um, to the previous model, which is exactly the same. The fans on these are massive, but the cooling capacity is absolutely fantastic. We have the GE75 Raider. So it has Windows 8, uh, Windows 10, sorry, 8th gen Intel Core i7-8750. It has the GTX 10, 1070 8 gig GDDR5. It's a 17.3 inch 1080p screen. Now it is 144 hertz, three milliseconds IPS. Uh, has thin bezels, 50% smaller than the average 17 inch monitors. But the screen, the screens over here, one terabyte, 128 gig SSD with 16 gig of RAM. Has an exclusive Cool Booster 5 technology, like the rest of the other Amazon laps we've seen here as well. Now, last but not least, is the GE63 Raider. So it has full RGB, it is Windows 10, has an i7 8750, has NVIDIA GDX 1060 with 6 gig DDR5 RAM. It's a 15.6 1080p, 120Hz. As you can see, it is sort of going around to so all, the, all the laptops here. They are going for the 120 or the 144Hz monitors. Um, has exclusive Cooler Booster 5. This one currently has here, it's one terabyte drive with a 256 SSD, 16 gig of RAM, and Optane 16 gig as well. So it's actually carrying the Intel Optane technology in as well. Um, it has five times five bigger upgrade giant speakers with sound, ton, and audio. And it has per key RGB backlit customized by um, Steel Series. And as always, all new Dragon City Tech um, Gaming Center. So we'll love to see that once we get that back in the studio. Now, one of these laptops hopefully will be arriving to the studio next month or so, get a bit more of an in-depth review. I'm hoping it is the GS65 cell thing, because that is my absolute favorite out of the all. Um, I love mobile and having gaming power at the same time. So this is as the MSI booth um, here at PAX, and we'll hopefully we can do the um, component side very soon.